favorite for him here, Joe Cortez with Ray Mercer, former heavyweight champion of the world, 2001 and a 1988 Olympic gold medalist. Ray, boxing today compared to the day where you were heavyweight champion of the world, how do you see it today? I think uh, I think um, I think the technique's a little weak today. I think boxing's a little, a little weaker than it was back in my days, uh, back in the 90s and the 80s. Uh, even the 70s, but um, it's certainly changed. Uh, the technology with the training has changed, the supplements. Um, as far as that, that's how boxing has changed. And, uh, you know, these guys, they're not getting the experience that they need for a title shot, and they're getting knocked out, and they can't hold the titles. Um, back in our days, it was just better training, better advice from your trainers. The referees was better. Um, we just we just had better everything back then. Now, how do you see the heavyweight division today? I mean, for outstanding, who's the most outstanding heavyweights out there today in your in your in your face? I tell you, I wish I was a heavyweight back uh, like right now today. But um, you know, you got you got some heavyweights out there. I think uh, I think Tyson Fury is is one of the best. I like him. I really like him for the things that he accomplished in life and in the ring. And uh, you got Dante Wilder. His name speaks for itself. He's just a wild fighter. He depends on his power, which one day that's going to come to an end. You got Anthony Joshua. I think he got caught on the temple when he fought uh, Luis, and uh, I think he'll be back, and uh, I think he'll regain that title. And you got Ruiz. He has a chance. You think Anthony Ruiz, even though he looks kind of like out of shape, he's surprised he shocked the world with that knockout over Anthony Joshua. I'm going to tell you, he's the first Mexican uh, heavyweight champ of the world, and I'm going to tell you, uh, People that, that look awkward can fight. I fought Francisco Damiano. He beat me for nine rounds. He looked awkward. He was a southpaw. He had a gut on him. And uh, I just knew I could beat him, but he was whipping me for nine rounds until I landed that one punch. Now, uh, the other day we saw Manny Pacquiao with fighting at Keith Thurman. What, how do you see that fight? What was your take on Manny Pacquiao, 40 years of age, and still has what he has, winning a division championship? Well, you know, I'm an old fighter, and uh, I think I knew that that he had a good chance of winning because he had the experience and he has the knowledge and he has the age um, and he knows what to do uh, with his mind. 40-year-old mind is going to be the young mind any day, I'm telling you. Thurman, he's a good fighter, but I'm going to tell you, Manny Pacquiao throws too many punches and he is experienced. Now, do you see uh, you got Sean Porter fighting uh, at September 28th against uh, a very difficult opponent, Earl Spence Jr. Now, you think that that fight could be an interesting fight? And should the winner of that fight be able to challenge Pacquiao for the championship? I think the winner of that fight should be able to challenge. I think uh, we need more challenges like that. We need more uh, good fighters fighting each other. Nowadays, they're not fighting each other. The old fighters used to fight each other. And I'm going to tell you, Manny Pacquiao would, would beat them guys. I'm telling you, I got confidence in him. You think Manny Pacquiao, so no, you're saying that Manny Pacquiao will beat Earl Spence and beat uh, Sean Porter? I think he will. Well, you heard it there from Ray Mercer, Joe Cortez with the Fairbairn Frame Show.